Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to explain why you should buy and collect CDs. If you're looking to start a music collection or a physical media collection, CDs are the perfect thing to start with. I have a vinyl collection and a CD collection. There are pros and cons to collecting each, but in today's video, I'm going to be talking about CDs only. There are so many reasons why I love collecting CDs, and just because of the nature of CDs, I will be comparing it a lot to vinyl. So if you are stuck between choosing CDs and vinyl, hopefully this video will help you. CDs have all of the perks of collecting physical media, which is pretty obvious, but when you're holding a CD, it's that hands-on experience that you don't get with streaming. I will be showing a lot of examples in this video. I love holding a CD in my hand, and it's so small and cute. It's so fun to open it up. I love taking out the booklet and looking at all of the artwork, the liner notes, the music credits, all of that. This one is cool because it also comes with like a Spotify code, and every CD is different, and they all have unique things in their book. Booklet. Here's another example. You can really appreciate the artwork and a lot of CDs also have artwork on the CD itself. So this is printed onto the CD. So I think that's really cool and it makes every CD unique. And some of them have exclusive perks as well. Like this one folds out into a poster. So here's what that poster looks like. There's a lot of fun stuff that goes into the CD case itself, which also makes it worth the money. CD cases can also come in a lot of different varieties. I have a few of these in my collection. They're kind of new to me. I think these are like the soft case or the soft cover, whatever it's called. Um, and these ones obviously are not a jewel case. They're very thin and they're soft. So you've got those ones as well as the jewel case. So like I said, lots of varieties. There's a lot of potential with packaging for album covers and album artwork. CDs also are less fragile than vinyl. It's also way easier to handle CDs. CDs can fit in your hand like this, and since they are so small, it's so much easier to hold. Technically, you can like touch this back part of the CD, but I wouldn't advise it because then you get fingerprints on it and it should always be clean. But it's honestly a lot easier to clean off than cleaning a vinyl that you accidentally touch. I always feel way less nervous when I'm transporting my CDs. Because of the jewel case, I usually don't have to worry about where I put them. Another great thing about CDs is that the jewel case that they come in is replaceable. If you get a vinyl and something happens to it in the mail when it's being shipped, it's very hard to replace it. You will most likely have to buy another version of that vinyl because the jackets are not replaceable, but however, the jewel cases on CDs are replaceable. You can buy a pack of them and replace any CD you want. Sometimes when I've gotten CDs shipped, um, these little T things right here holding the CD in will break or the jewel case will be cracked and it is kind of a bummer but you could replace it for very very cheap. So CDs always come more protected so that should give you some reassurance when buying a lot of CDs especially if you're having them shipped to you. They're one of the smallest forms of physical media, which is one of the main reasons why I love collecting CDs. Since they are so small, you can store them a lot easier. They are way more portable than vinyl, like I mentioned. It's so much easier to carry your CDs around and transport them, whereas with vinyl, it does get very, very heavy because they are so large. It's also a lot cheaper and easier and safer to ship CDs. And obviously, because CDs are so small, they are way easier to store. You can store so many CDs in a shelf compared to vinyl. That's one of the main reasons why I think a lot of people collect CDs and why I love it. You can buy a couple hundred of them and you don't need a big space to put them in. They're one of the more cheaper forms of physical media. CD prices for new CDs have gone up in recent years, I've noticed. New CDs cost anywhere between $10 to $15 usually. New vinyl is double that price. I love that CDs are half or even a third the price of vinyl because I don't feel that bad when I buy a bunch of CDs. And you can also find used CDs for very, very cheap. Usually anywhere between $0.99 cents to $3 I've seen at like Goodwill or any other thrift store. CDs are so, so cheap and I love that and generally speaking CD players are a lot cheaper and a lot smaller than record players. You can find a CD player that is good decent quality for pretty cheap. It all depends on what brand you want or the quality of it. 
When you go to concerts, some artists do have their CD available to purchase, whether it's signed or not. That is actually really great because I know a lot of merch is very, very expensive, usually like $40 to $50 at least just for a t-shirt. So not a lot of people can afford merch, but if you still want to support whatever artist or band you're going to see, you could always buy their CD, which is usually about $10. It's usually one of the cheaper things at the merch tables, and you still feel like you're supporting your favorite band or artist. So that's what I did with the band Camino. I got this CD when I saw them in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I didn't get any merch at the show because I already had merch and I still felt like I wanted to buy something at the show and they had their CDs available at the merch table which I did not have the the CD of their latest album yet. I was able to support them at the show. So by buying a CD at a show you can help support your favorite band or artist while not spending a lot of money and then you can also add to your CD collection or start a CD collection at a concert. I always feel better about buying an album on a CD because I know if I don't like a song, I can always skip it. With vinyl, technically you can skip a song, but it's a lot harder to. But with CDs, you just press the skip button and you can go to the next song, especially if you just want to play an album for one song, it's way easier to do that. I'm not very familiar with cassettes, but I think it is really hard to skip a song. I don't even know if you can do it. So I'm pretty sure CD is really the only form of physical media where it's super easy to skip to the next song. Another thing to mention is the sound quality. This can be subjective because it all depends on what equipment you use to play CDs, but generally speaking, I think CDs do sound better than streaming, but with good equipment, CDs can sound very, very good, sometimes better than vinyl or maybe about the same. Again, it just depends on your setup, but CDs also do not have any surface noise, so you get just the sound and no extra background noise. Now I'm going to talk about buying CDs versus digital downloads. Usually if you want to buy a digital copy of an album, it's about $10 and the CD is only about $12 to $15. If you think about it, spending a couple of extra dollars is way more worth it than buying the digital download because when you buy the CD, obviously you get the CD itself, you get the booklets, you get the artwork, it's a physical form of an album, and then you can go ahead and download the music onto your computer and you'll have it forever so you do get your own digital copy by buying a CD. In other words, you can rip the songs off of the CD and you can have it digitally and then you also have like the physical booklet and the CD and you can put it in the car or somewhere else so you do have then multiple copies of the album. So that's why I never buy digital copies of an album. I always just buy the CD. It's way more worth your money in my opinion. You can bring that CD everywhere you go and you also have the digital copy. You can re-download it as many times as you want. An artist or label can take Take music off of streaming services at any time but if you have it on a CD it's yours forever. So I think spending a couple extra dollars to get the CD is way more worth it than just buying a digital copy of the album. And that brings me to my next point. With CDs, you can obviously make your own playlist or mixtape and you can burn it onto a CD and then you can take it anywhere you want. You can download it as many times as you want. I know you can do it with cassettes, but with vinyl, it's a lot harder because you can't really make vinyl at your home like that. You would have to use some kind of third party record pressing plant to make your own albums on vinyl, but you can make your own CD albums at home. It's so easy. I do it all the time. It's so nice to make your own custom CD. CD at home. It's affordable, quick, and easy. The last thing I want to mention are pre-orders. This can be annoying when buying new music, but it usually only applies to vinyl and not CDs. A lot of my favorite artists are releasing albums this year, but some of the vinyl pressings for those albums have been delayed, and a lot of times the CD will come out the same day as the album, but sometimes it takes months and months to produce vinyl, and so the vinyl has a different pre-order date than the CD, so you will get the CD first. CDs usually don't get delayed like that because it's way easier and cheaper to produce a bunch of CDs, whereas with vinyl, it's expensive and it takes a long, long time and a lot of materials. That's why there was a huge vinyl shortage, but you don't really see that with CDs. Like with Post Malone, he released his album 12 Care Toothache. I got the CD the same day the album came out in June, but the vinyl did not come until February. So that's a really great, unique perk of collecting and buying CDs. Those were all of my reasons why I think you should start buying CDs and start a CD collection in 2023. And if you already buy CDs, 
these are just some amazing perks and benefits of collecting CDs. Now in 2023 is the perfect time to start a CD collection or continuing to grow your CD collection. I do have a pretty big CD collection myself. I am going to be posting an updated CD collection video soon over the summer because I do have a few more pre-orders and I'm waiting for those CDs to come. But if you want to see my CD collection so far, you could check out my first CD collection video. I'll leave a link for that at the end of this video and in the description. Let me know if you guys have a CD collection. Let me know what are some of your favorite albums on CD. And also let me know some reasons why you like collecting CDs. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!